There are several habits that employees engage in, which swallows up their salaries. First impressions matter, and we all like to look good. In the world, image is everything. However, you do not have to spend all your salary on certain items to be smart. There are many ways to look decent if you take time to find out how. Good grooming is impressive by all standards, but you can be simple and fashionable without overspending your salary. If you really must wear the latest designer clothes, then it would be wise to get another source of income to meet your demands. However, if you are relying on a salary, it is always possible to dress decently on a budget. If you are joining us for the first time, please subscribe below and share a comment before we embark on the items that eat up our salaries each month. Welcome to Five Talents Africa and my name is Mildred Okoth. Taking care of our hair and nails swallows up our salaries. We all have different preferences. However, you do not have to spend a lot of money on hairstyles and nails every week to look good. A good stylist can advise you on the best method of managing your hair on a budget. Identify a local stylist who does your hair well. Grooming includes having clean and well manicured hands and toenails. These two can be costly if one is not careful. We have so many beautiful designs that can tempt someone to keep changing each week. Occasionally, everyone needs to be pampered and that is why we visit our stylists since it's part of our well-being. But you can limit the visits and partly do some of the grooming from home. Please let us know in the comments below how else an employee can take care of their hair and nails on a budget. Decent dressing is a requirement for most organizations. This can either be formal or informal depending on the industry. A good outfit may not necessarily be a designer wear. Nowadays, we have many decent outfits that are affordable and clothes are not items to be purchased weekly. Markets worldwide have opened up and buyers have options. In fact, you do not have to leave your house to go purchase anything. This can be done easily from the comfort of your living room or at the office using a phone. You can stagger the purchase of clothing throughout the year to have a decent wardrobe and without hurting your bank account. This is possible if you are intentional about it and you will note the difference in what is left over from your salary that you can use to invest. Our shoes also swallow a big chunk of our salaries, especially if you purchase cheap quality. Investing in two or three good pair of shoes can save you a lot of money. It is always wise to invest on a good pair of shoes rather than have several cheap pairs that are replaced monthly. Bad quality shoes wears out quickly and that is the reason why you should invest in a good quality. A good pair may be useful the whole year round while a bad pair is replaced each month. The good thing is that we have options and a wide selection to choose from globally. You can buy items across borders as long as you're willing to meet the shipment costs. However, you may not need to incur such costs if a local vendor has already done that for you within your country. If you can, always invest in good shoes. Good quality items saves money. Unlike shoes, so is everything else, such as cosmetics and other accessories. Investing in good quality cosmetics will save your salary. Once you're comfortable with a particular set or brand, budget early and plan to purchase whatever you need, either quarterly or semi-annually. These two can swallow your salary without your knowledge, especially if you like trying new brands every month. Items like belts, earrings, handbags are rarely purchased each month. Investing in good quality items can save a good portion of your salary. 
Buying good quality leather belts and handbags mean that you only need to invest once and they will be useful for a long time. The same with earrings and other jewelry. Knowing what to buy and when will save your salary. Did you know that eating from restaurants can be costly? Not carrying packed lunch and snacks from home can eat into your salary without your knowledge. It might seem like a very small percentage of your money, but if you count the cost on a monthly basis, this can add up to shocking amounts. Even though it is not always possible to carry packed lunch, especially if you're not used to, making a habit can help you save a good portion of your salary. This also goes for break time snacks that are purchased mid-morning or afternoon from the local cafeteria. They eventually add up to a huge percentage of your income. Yet when you're purchasing, the amounts may not look significant. Try this for one week and soon it will surprise you how much you can save from your salary. You will even become healthier by packing lunch and snacks from your home. Using online cabs come easy as long as you have a phone and some money. They are quite convenient and pick you from wherever you are. However, these two can be very costly in the long run. They may seem cheaper than regular cabs, but the cost may be exorbitant if one is not careful. If you live nearby a colleague, you may choose to share a cab as opposed to using one individually. Alternatively, you can use public means to get home and save on heavy transport costs. If you have a car, you can also share one if you live in the same area with colleagues. The most ideal and the best alternative is to look for accommodation near your workplace. This may not always be possible, but if you're lucky to walk to work, you can save a substantive amount of transport in this way when employed. In summary, we often use our monies in so many ways and lose some due to lack of planning. If a person is not careful, one may think that their salary is not sufficient or they are unable to afford certain things. But if you look keenly into what you receive, you may just realize that with good planning, you can afford them. Reviewing how you spend on grooming, transport and takeaway meals can save you money which you may later invest. It may initially look difficult, but with a little discipline, it is possible. This will give you insight on how you spend your monies on a daily basis. And this brings us to the end of our tutorial. Please subscribe below if you've learned something today and let us know of other things that eat into the salary of an employee.